viewers arvind gupta is the whistle blower in the scam he will begin by giving him me his account and the inside story live on the program and then i will be joined for a conversation around it with all the people live on the screen so he'll say it understands big business very well praful sarda entrepreneur and activist sumit mehta of paradigm advisors the ceo of paradigm advisors lokesh jindal of the congress ravi srivastav and vivek srivastav because the story has a political ramification uh, would you please first give me your broad introduction and any other uh, you know sort of uh, anything else you want to add to where you came into the picture in this case in 2016 and after that mr gupta uh, i just know that you are a very activist shareholder and investor in both icici and videocon what else is your professional background and how did you get into this or no as you may be knowing that uh, i have been raising the issues of corporate governance transparency public accountability shoulder activism for last almost over nearly 30 years now um, if you recall i think we had interaction about uh, cag uh, matter also quite some time back and uh, i have been raising all these issues as a shareholder and the corporate governance proponent from almost nearly now 30 years to be precise the video con matter came first uh, in 1992 wherein their first public issue of gujarat narmada valley electronics was stalled by uh, mrtpc commission and i know their misdeeds of managing the affairs in the corporate and the government lobby ever since then they managed to get it vacated from the calcutta high court and the supreme court and all those things they have duped virtually many state government financial corporations and and financial institutions uh, rising up to the level of being number one electronic company in the uh, in the country hmm. with respect to icici uh, banking nexus uh, i can just take you immediately back to as back as uh, 18th of december 2008 when videocon promoters family and chanda coaches family they formed a 50 50 joint venture under a company's brand name called new power renewable limited that was the time also when there was a global meltdown and the companies were undergoing restructuring and all but they were very thick and thin so videocon invested videocon family um, venu gopal dhut rajkumar dhut and pradeep uh, dhut uh, son uh, saurabh on one side and chanda kochar her husband and her father in law from the side of the of the uh, of the pacific uh, financial company which had a complete network of companies operating from india from singapore and they were trying to build up an empire deepak kochar obviously was an ambitious person so he launched his new power ventures and today underneath that we have at least three subsidiaries which are operating so on the one hand you find that they were giving lot of uh, sweetheart deals to the to the group to avoid that they don't uh, default on on their bankruptcy but they did eventually because they were trying to siphon the fund all over they defaulted now as a quid pro quo obviously all the evidences would show all the published report that you can access access to uh, from rcs filing you would find that there have been uh, a a fund flowing into the new power be it in india and be abroad now we have been only able to touch the tip of the iceberg in india with respect to uh, catching off the video con uh, promoters group but at the same time there are many other groups which were salvaged which were funded by the icici chiefs and the management and and one doesn't know how many of them have really gone bankrupt how much was the total exposure of icici bank in funding these companies to come back and how much has become now, npa mr gupta Only, my uh, next question my, my, next question yeah. my, my next question is very simple yeah I don't think Chanda Kochar did it on her own. I don't think Chanda Kochar. I think there's a board, and the board was supporting her. And even till 2018, the ICICI Bank board was saying nothing doing. Chanda Kochar is absolutely innocent. Nothing doing. Chanda Kochar is 
They'd seen your letter, they'd had their internal right. investigation, they were giving a clean sheet. Now that board is also answerable to someone. Which means, which gives, you know, I go by gut feel. I, there's a feeling I have, feeling I have that there were very, 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 very powerful people behind the scenes. Behind